I think about you and your loved ones every day, and I know our entire Boeing team does as well. On the first anniversary of the crash that started Boeing's costly, lengthy 737 MAX crisis. We are sorry. Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg began with an apology. Deeply and truly sorry. The lawmakers in front of him were full of questions. So has the balance gone too far to allowing industry to police itself? Is that true? Would you agree that this system of certification and oversight is absolutely broken? At the hearing, families of some of the victims of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Thank you for being here. If you could just uh, stand. At one point, stopping the hearing. I was going to ask that you hold up those photographs because I understand that for security purposes you can't. If, uh, if a guy, I could express my, uh, my deep sympathies for the You've family. done that, and my time is limited. I apologize for interrupting you. Senators anxious to know what Boeing has done to fix its jet. For starters, the company has substantially changed the MCAS function on the MAX, a brand new automation system meant to make flying the MAX easier. Instead, it's blamed in large part for both MAX crashes. It could push the nose down in steep turns to make the redesigned MAX fly like older 737s and avoid stalls. With the update, it will read information from two sensors, not one, on how steep the nose is pitched. Plus, it won't be able to automatically pitch the nose down as much as it used to be able to. But those changes are just part of the fix. Lawmakers want to know how Boeing has changed its process. Why didn't Boeing push to ground the MAX after the second of two similar accidents in March? There's media reports that Boeing was actively lobbying the FAA to keep the planes in the air at that time in this country. Is that true? We uh, immediately after that accident reached out to the FAA and reg other regulatory authorities to understand what happened in the accident. What has made aviation safe is that we make decisions based on data. Matching testimony earlier this year from then acting FAA Administrator Dan Elwell. We were the first country to ground because of a data that linked the two accidents. A recent document disclosure shows private emails from Boeing's then chief technical pilot on the MAX requesting mention of the MCAS be taken out of pilot training material. More evidence of a culture at Boeing that put profit and timetables too high on the priority list. How frequently are new automated systems left out of the manual and training that you give to pilots? Our idea is to provide training on uh, pilots so they can respond to the effects of failures as opposed to trying to diagnose failures. Well, in order to properly react to the effect, I need to have some level of diagnosis going on. Dennis Tager is a pilot for American Airlines. He's flown the MAX, and he represents American pilots through their union. There's some diagnosis that's going on, and the foundation for diagnosis, quick diagnosis, is information, none of which did we have. Boeing came to my office shortly after these crashes and said they were the result of pilot error. We have not blamed the pilots, and I know that's been reported, but that is not our company position. Uh, and it never will be. Not the official position, but this was the immediate response to the Ethiopian crash. The history of our industry shows most accidents are caused by a chain of events. This again is the case here. Erroneous activation of the MCAS function can add to what is already a high workload environment. Our belief is that Boeing was Take standing there with a match in the gasoline, which is the MCAS, and then talking about how far, how far the fields burned. They were dog whistling that this was, if the pilots had only acted and performed with perfection, this wouldn't have happened. That's just absurd. For pilots like Tager, perhaps the most important next step is communication. We want the information about what was in the manual that you had pulled out. It may lead us to no further conclusion, but we deserve, our passengers deserve that information.